what's in ZooKeeper? So ClickHouse has great system tables. And one of the most useful ones, and in fact, the table that you want to look at here is system.zookeeper. ClickHouse will go out and it will run, basically run queries on the directory tree in ZooKeeper. Um, this allows you to do a couple things. One is it allows you to see what's in the tree. You, you use this where path equals and you, you give the path. Uh, ClickHouse won't guess it for you. But the other thing it does is if this query works, it means ZooKeeper, it means ClickHouse can see ZooKeeper and ZooKeeper is working. So it's a really important tool. Whenever you suspect something is wrong, first thing you do is dive in and run this query. And if it succeeds, okay, at least you know you can see ZooKeeper, This you can look for something else. But if this doesn't succeed, like if it bombs out, it'll time out, for example, uh, then you know that uh, there's something wrong with ZooKeeper. Um, another thing that you can do is if you use this correctly, it will actually print the Znode values. So this is just another example, um, just showing how we can get the, see the commands that are, are in the DDLQ. Another way that you can talk to ZooKeeper if, uh, if you need to know what's in there is you can use ZKCLI. That's the basic um, tool that comes with ZooKeeper. So it's pretty primitive, uh, really very painful to use, but it, it also allows you to navigate this tree and look at things. There are many other tools that allow you to look at the, at the ZooKeeper um, hierarchy, just uh, pick one. And uh, there's like visual tools, for example. I don't usually use them. I usually do a command line, but they will give you um, a good view of what's going on. Zookeeper, as we already introduced, has these things called four-letter word commands. Uh, so are you okay, conf, cons, monitor, server. These are just quick commands that you can send to the Zookeeper and it will, bl it will blap out some text information that helps you understand whether Zookeeper is up. In the case of monitoring, it, it dumps a bunch of stuff that you can then feed into something like Prometheus um, and, and understand what the health of your server is. There's, there's a number of other commands. These are just some of the uh, more common ones. And as you see, use uh, here's the standard thing. You just say echo, give the name of the command, and use NC to, to, to blast it up to port 2181. Speaking of monitoring, there are a number of approaches. And it's sort of hard to, to give you like, a, hey, this is the one size fits all. Some people are using things like, um, like Nagios, uh, older uh, things. There's a, a routine called checkzookeeper.pl. Um, in the slides, this is actually linked to the, to the project. The newer approach that we tend to see is people will use Prometheus and Alerts Manager and Grafana. And there's, a, there's actually a Grafana uh, dashboard that's available from Grafana Labs that you can use. There's, there's a lot more to say about this, but you can check out the knowledge base, the Alternity Knowledge Base, and we have a, a page on Zookeeper Monitoring, which gives a bunch of ideas about how to do this. You should, you should not go into production without having monitoring set up, set up on this. It is not hard to do. Uh, Zookeeper makes it pretty easy with the, with the commands, and there's software that does it, but you just need to set it.